now we will be looking at how the arithmetic operators inside strings works. So let us now look at how this addition operator works. So when we talk about the addition operator, naturally we are talking about concatenation. So this term, which is known as concatenation, is actually joining two strings using the addition operator of arithmetic inside strings. So this is really easy to do because uh, this um, this concatenation operator or the addition operator more specifically inside strings is used to add two strings in a certain point. Suppose you want to extend this string but you really don't know what to add later what to add at the initial stage but you would eventually come to a point where you would know or where you would want to store um, uh, another string inside it or you want to extend this string after some time but you really don't want to destroy what what's already stored inside it because although um, because this, the strings are immutable so we need to destroy them we need to destroy their values before we actually uh, replace those values with a newer value so when we want a new value to be stored inside this variable the old value will be destroyed but we really don't want that to happen always so the concatenation operator can help us in this situation so let's look at how this works so suppose we are going to use this first variable this um, we are also going to create another variable that's also going to be a string and let's name that variable as first variable or let's name it as string2 and let's change the name of this variable as string1 so string2 will have a value of string certainly and this string will be added together in another variable so I'll be showing you that so let's change this it's actually better to keep uh, using the single quotation if you start using them at the beginning of your program because this is really not a problem if you later change to double quotation marks for strings but rather using a convention helps other programmers when you work in a project when you work in a team so let's create a va let's assign a value to the string to variable um, what can it be? Let's write Peter replied. This is string two. So these are really silly sentences, but uh, I hope you understand the concept behind this. So let's create another variable that will that will certainly store both of them but in a way that will uh, add both of this string uh, string values so we need to assign string 1 and we are going to use the addition arithmetic operator but in the sense because we are using it with strings it will act as a concatenation operator but its operation will remain unchanged so we'll be looking at what happens in our browser when we output it using our uh, alert function so uh, let's keep a space in between and let us now add the second string inside our string 3 variable okay now let's save this and we're going to pass it to our alert function so that it gets printed initially at the head header section of our browser of our web page specifically speaking and uh, let's pass string 3 in it let's save this and let's see what happens in our first code.html page So if you look at this example carefully, this JavaScript alert box is actually taking both of this, 
taking it's actually going uh, looking at the first variable and it's retrieving the value from the computer's memory so what it's doing is that it's retrieving the first value from string 1 and then what it does it uh, references references it inside string 3 it creates a copy and keeps inside the string 3 variable or stores inside the string 3 variable and then with the concatenation or the addition operator it adds a space because JavaScript won't add a space for you so you need to do it literally for uh, by yourself so what I'm doing in here is adding a space and then I'm also using another concatenation operator or the addition operator to add the second string so what it really does is that the, it all also retrieves the value the string value from the string 2 variable from the computer's memory and it creates a copy it does not alter or manipulate the actual copy it creates a copy and then it adds to the string 3 variable and stores inside it and it stores at the exact end of the variable so that's why when we output this um, variable on our browser we see that Tom said this is a string this is the first string and there's a little space in here if you really notice it there's a little space and then it prints the second string so now inside the uh, computer's memory the string 3 contains the entire string that has been uh, retrieved from string 1 and string 2 this is a single string inside the computer's memory so so now let us look at how this addition or the arithmetic operators work in s other situations suppose we what happens when we want to add a string with a number what what, what is it gonna do inside our browser what is how the compiler would evaluate such things is quite tricky but it's really easy to understand so let's look at it suppose we create uh, we create another variable that we name as string 4 this string 4 variable will be uh, different from the previous ones because it will contain a numeric value and we will look at how it behaves on our browser so let's uh, retrieve the value from string 1 and uh, let's use the addition or the concatenation operator and also we want a space in between our numeric value and the string value let's also add another concatenation operator and we are literally going to use a numeric value suppose we choose to use the number 12 so what it's doing is that inside the string for a variable it's retrieving the value the string value inside the string 1 and it's creating a copy and it's skipping or storing inside the string 4 at the very beginning of the variable now what it does it adds rather than destroying the value that it retrieved and created a copy it adds to that string a space a blank space and then it also adds the value of 12 so how is it gonna respond it's a string and it's a numeric value what it's gonna do is that it's actually going to produce something uh, like this Tom said this is a string this is the actual string that it's going to produce on the browser but because we are adding a numeric value and a string value inside our browser it's going to read or convert this numeric value into a string value and then it will add that space blank space uh, this is not an underscore I'm actually meaning that the compiler would uh, add a blank space after the string the string one value and then it's going to include it inside the whole string it's not going to add it literally when it uh, like a number because the string is not a uh, numeric literal or a, numer a number value so we will have a different sort of string value inside our browser so let's look at this example in real life so let's pass string 4 let's save this and here we have 
the javascript alert box and it exactly does as what I have explained to you it first retrieves the value from string 1 and it converts the numeric value of 12 into a string and it joins both those strings together and produces the value on the alert box